won't let it size fool you. The Conair 1875 is super duper powerful. Um, it's a little bit noisy, but it gets the job done. Um, in terms of temperature, it doesn't get scorching hot, but I'm not looking for that anyways. I'm looking for more air pressure and nice, warm, hair-drying temperature that's not going to burn my scalp. Um, I had one of these before, and it lasted about six years, so I'm excited to have another one. And admittedly, um, the other one broke because I mistreated it. I dropped it, so... Uh, I figured this thing was probably going to last 10 years or more, um, maybe even a lot longer than that. If only I would have treated it well, might as, get, might as well get literally the identical one, which I did. And it functions great. It's super portable. The size and the power and the ease of use. I'm just, uh, I'm glad to have this thing back as it were, even though it's a different, uh, <laughs> it's a different one physically. It's the exact same model, which I've found to be super, super duper reliable. And to me, it's, you know, take all the fancy uh, gadgets and functions away. I want reliability, and that is the ultimate value. And, you know, this thing is a great value at the end of the day. And 1875 wattage-wise is more than enough. I don't need, like, a super high-power uh, blow dryer having, like, short, medium-length hair like I do.